Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Uh, John was uh, talking about doing a program on uh, ships on the air, um, and I said uh, I have actually been to two of them, uh, but ships on the air 2024 is June the 1st from uh, 001 Zulu June the 1st to 2359 Zulu June the 2nd. It's sponsored by the nj2bb.org uh, on the USS New, Jer uh, New Jersey. Uh, as of May the 7th, it had 89 ships registered uh, to participate. Uh, try to <laughs> well, what I'll do is get, what I was trying to do is uh, bring up the uh, website and I could not for some, I could not for some reason embed it in the uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation and so uh, I, uh, but anyway, uh, we'll get to it at the end of it and bring it up, but anyway, I have operated from two different sites. One was the uh, USS Albacore SS-569 in May of, or June of uh, 7th of 2014. And then the USS Thrasher SS-593 Memorial in Kittery, Maine on uh, June the 4th, 2016. These two sites are just right across the, the river uh, between New Hampshire and, and Maine. This is at the Albacore uh, site. Uh, this is a memorial garden that uh, commemorates uh, the different uh, uh, submariners that have lost their lives uh, in, in the wars. Uh, here's some of the plaques that are there. Uh, this is the one that was dedicated to the Albacore SS-218, which uh, they lost uh, their lives November the 7th, 1944. Here is the submarine. It is a museum ship to where you can go on the ship and uh, 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 they have a museum and you pay and you can go on the ship. I, I went on it one time and the bunks were four high and the one bunk was about this high off the floor. How you, how you could get to uh, uh, into the bunk, it, it was amazing. Uh, it had to be awfully small, thin guys to, to sleep. You're younger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but the 569 ship was actually an experimental sub, and that is the uh, tail to where they would change the tail configuration and take it out on experimentation to uh, see what uh, uh, how it performed but uh, this was me operating from the uh, Albacore uh, parking lot uh, using NM1JY it just so happens that the Albacore call sign was NMJY to where the Port City Amateur Radio Club that uh, was doing uh, these events uh, they get they got that call sign uh, to have it uh, but it was a lot of fun operating uh, from the albacore uh, this was uh, my wife Beverly and I in front of the trailer where the radio was where I operated but then uh, in uh, May uh, June of uh, 2016 uh, the Port City Club decided to do an operation from the uh, Thrasher Memorial. Uh, the Thrasher went down on uh, April 10th, 1963. Thrasher. 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 All right, instead of Thrasher. <laughs> anyway, uh, it went down, uh, 129 souls were on board. Uh, this is the setup that we were at. Uh, if you can, uh, See right here, picnic tables is where we actually set up. Uh, the police station 
Kittery police stations here, and, and the, to the right is the memorial. Uh, there's the, uh, some of the setup uh, using uh, W1WQM, which is the Port City Amateur Radio Club call sign. Here's another setup. You can see in the back, uh, this is the part of the memorial, and then that uh, structure with the uh, flag mast pole was right about here. Uh, one of the interesting things that uh, happened while I was operating, I had two different contacts with people. The first one that I made, it was on either 40 or 20 meters, I'm not sure, but the uh, first one, the guy was a ham and gave a call. He had he knew five people that had uh, perished on board uh, the sub when it went down, and that was quite moving to me. The second was a gentleman uh, who was a navy had been a navy pilot, and they had had a tour in the Mediterranean, and uh, before they left the med. Uh, they were uh, told to fuel and they were asked to survey for any debris, survey for any debris in the ocean and go until uh, they got to a fuel point that had to come back, go back to, uh, or go, they were going to Oceana uh, Naval Air Station. And to me, that was two amazing contacts that I had operating from from the memorial. Uh, as a matter of fact, this year, uh, Port City Amateur Radio Club is going to actually act, uh, activate both the Albacore and the Thrasher Memorial. Uh, they're planning on it. Uh, uh, on June the 1st, uh, which is uh, the day Steve Frazier and I will uh, set up in uh, Germantown uh, Poplar States Park and and operate from 10 to 2 and see how many ships that we can get. We invite anybody that wants to come and log and, and or operate, be more than happy to uh, uh, have you there. This is a good exercise to get ready for field day. Uh, we'll be using the N3 FJP logging so you can get used to it and uh, come out. Uh, uh, it's from 001 Zulu, which means it's actually Friday night at, at uh, 7.01 p.m. to Sunday at 6.59 p.m. is the operating times. So uh, uh, that is uh, the times that, uh, but we'll just be there from say 10 to 2 about that time. If anybody's interested in coming out, be more than happy to have you. Uh, we just thought we'd set up and see what we could uh, what we could get. Uh, a lot of these ships have nice QSL cards. Uh, you can operate using your own call sign if you're a general or above. Uh, if you're not a general or above, be, be glad to use one of our call signs uh, and do the operating. So uh, that's uh, any questions on ships on the air. Uh, where, where is that park, Joe? Yeah. It's uh, at the pop end of Poplar States Parkway. Okay. At the very north end of Poplar States Parkway. I mean the one where the, the memorials are, where the submarine memorial is. Oh, the submarine memorial is in Kittery, Maine. It's, uh, it is on a, tra a uh, traffic circle right there by the Kittery Police Department. And in the center of the traffic circle is a flagpole. 129 feet tall, which commemorates the 129 souls lost on board. Are there certain frequencies you're going to be operating on? Designated frequencies? Uh, they're not designated. No. Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll, I'm going to bring up the uh, website and show you uh, some of the ones that they say that they're going to they look at. But with with 89 different uh, ships on the air operating. Uh, it's hard to say exactly what frequency it is. Yeah, I'm just wondering how you're going to find a submarine in the ocean. type of scenario where they're all... Well, they're going to be saying it 
Shift's on the air. <laughs> let me let me pull up uh, the website and then also I'll pull up a map. Okay, this is this is the uh, website for uh, ships on the air weekend. Um, NJ2BB.org/museums or NJ2BB.org. New Jersey. It is over in uh, Philadelphia right now. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of tours going on. Uh, There's still tours. Un under, underneath, the, people are touching the propeller and all that. I saw it on TV just this past week. Yeah, YouTube got a bunch. Of, YouTube got a bunch of uh, uh, as they're going along with the uh, repit. Here's some of the, the ships. Uh, on the left is, is the ship, uh, what type it is, to the right next to it, the city and state, and then the call sign for that uh, operation. Get down to the uh, uh, submarines, you can see the Albacore is right there. It's N M1 J Y, and then the USS Thresher Memorial, the Kittery Main uh, W1 W -M Q M. Is the USS Batfish on there? I can't read it from back here. What uh, type of ship? Sub. It's 637 class. Sub. Is it, it is a sub. Yeah, it is Blackfish. Four point nine. Batfish. Yeah. Blackfish? Bat. Batfish. Bat 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 it's Bat in Muskogee, Oklahoma, if you ever want to tour it. Uh, it doesn't look like it is. They took it up to the Arkansas. They took it up to Mississippi and then to Arkansas. Well, one of the things on the, on the Albacore, uh, it was, uh, uh, they brought it up uh, the Portsmouth Naval Yard is right at the at sort of the mouth of the Patapsco. I've forgotten how you pronounce it anyway. Uh, no, not Penobscot. It's further up in Maine. This is right at the Maine uh, New Hampshire line. But they literally brought it up up to the river, dug a trench, floated it into the location, lifted it up. And then backfilled it and put a put it on a uh, <coughs> put it on a foundation. So that's how they got it into the site. But it, it had to go about uh, about 150 yards from the river, probably 200 yards from from the center of the river uh, into uh, the land. But you can you can see the water from from the Albacore Memorial. But it is, uh, it was a lot of fun to be there to, to say that, you know, I had been at a memorial. Uh, and uh, I'm sure you'll hear a lot of stories uh, when you're just listening on the bands, if you contact, uh, just listen to some of the stories that some of the people will be saying during the day. Then I'll also bring up the... Uh, This, this is the uh, map. Uh, here's Poplar Estates Parkway. Uh, that's the park. In other words, you come down Poplar Estates Parkway. You can get to it from Neshoba, uh, depending on where you're coming from. Uh, if you're coming from the north, you, uh, come down Germantown Road to Wolf River to Riverdale, and then Riverdale to Neshoba. 
turn left and, and go up to uh, Poplar States Parkway and turn right and go to the far end. And uh, we're gonna, there's a field that has two uh, uh, benches and uh, one of them even has a barbecue pit alongside it. We'll set up and, uh, and uh, operate. So it's right there on Wolf River Bowl. Well, you, you cannot get to it. Yeah, you can't River. get to oh, it. You, you, you can, can see, see it from Wolf River, but you cannot get to it. Oh, okay. If you're walking, yes. And there is a park right across the street that's part of the, the Greenway or the Germantown uh, walkway. There is a park there where you could possibly park and then walk across to get to Poplar Estates uh, Park. Okay. But uh, the best yeah. thing to do is, is to come up and uh, get on to Poplar Estates Parkway. And that's June 1st? June the 1st. 10 to 2. 10 to 2. We'll probably be down at 9 o'clock to set up. I was going to say we're going to get there. We're going to probably get there a little bit early to set up and then try to be uh, actually operating from 10 to 2. Any other questions? May I tell one comment? Uh, Jim, WH6Q, will be going back to Hawaii He'll be operating, hopefully, on the USS Missouri. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is going to go back? He's trying to. He's oh, okay. He's got a flight back. He thinks he can get back that day. Okay. The, the last time I talked to him, he said, uh, I didn't think he said he was going to be back yet. Well, he, he's on his way to Dayton today. But he said he could make it back to Hawaii by the, by the June 1st. Okay. That's, that'll be interesting. Uh, WH6Q is uh, Jim who comes to Memphis quite often. His son lives here and he has property here, so he gets back for medical reasons as well. He works uh, in Missouri. That's his uh, volunteer work. Right. One of the few people in Hawaii vacations in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> any, any other questions or comments? Okay. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. All right, so I guess now we will take about a five, ten minute break and get set up for our next presentation.